I have an epic can thrift haul for you today, coming up after this. Okay, so I've been thrifting for a few years, and I seem to bring home the things that I find, and I stick them in a chest or in boxes, and I don't get around to them. I'm really particular about having clean things, so I want to make sure that they're clean before I start playing with them and stuff. It's a big ordeal. I like thoroughly clean them, so I want to make sure that they are all good. So last night I decided to bring some out. There's a lot of things that I was missing and I wanted to play with and take advantage of. There's benefits to being in quarantine and I pulled these out and I scrubbed them and I washed the clothes and I've dried them and now I woke up this morning and they seem to be all dry and ready to put back together. I had already tried on some of uh, the clothes on some of my existing dolls. I have no idea where to start with this. I guess there was a Derek right here, this guy. And he looked like he was in really good condition and I didn't realize that he was open. I guess there are those collectors that do open them and put them on display. He is brand new and everything, but I am disappointed. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for this. I guess it was $20, which seems a bit much but i thought it was brand new and okay so i guess it is brand new except it is this metallic version i'm gonna try not to touch it so much i don't think this is the original set i think this was a second wave it came with some pretty sweet propaganda i am going to scan those and put them up on instagram so we can all look at how awesome these 80s toys are like yeah see how they save the sticker back and the instructions and every twist tie so it was that kind of collector so everything was in good condition but this is so sticky and the metal was separating from the cloth the shiny part of the material and it was sticking to the back of the box and it's tacky to touch and it's really really gross Tacky is going to be a common word used in this review. The pants don't seem as tacky. I'm thinking that I might separate, get a stitch remover, and separate the shirt from the pants. Let me know what you think, or maybe people want to buy this tacky outfit. All I know, I really do love the shirt. There's this guitar strap, which also the shiny metallic part is separating from the cloth. And I'm guessing he came with two guitar straps because... There's this other one, which is the same as his belt, but even that is deteriorating. You see how it's oxidizing or something, but it's almost made nice. There's a snap and it's functioning, and then it's kind of, you know, cardboardy, though. So I don't know if I want to put that back on. Okay, I better move these out of the way or I'm gonna hurt myself. He is in excellent, perfect condition. So if I put all of that aside, I don't necessarily want to wear that outfit anyway. And he's looking real cool, tacky. The legs, I don't like the rubbery legs. They discolor, they feel tacky. It's hard to put the pants on. I'm gonna show you how the thighs have changed over time too. I'm not a huge fan of actually any of the bodies that we got. Actually, there's one body that we got, this one. So this is the twilight body for Jacob. Here, let me adjust this. And I put this head, this Ken Fashionista head on the body. This is bigger than your normal Ken body. And luckily I have found a few of these Jacobs. I used one of the Fashionista heads that were on the slim. There is a few others that would match man buns. And uh, for this New York guy, he would match this skin tone too. His arms are a bit thicker. His torso is a bit thicker. It's a really good Ken body. Okay, so here's one of the accessories that I have. I found a lot of Action Men and Max Steel, and I have their clothes in here, and they do fit on especially the Super Ken, so the Superman and Batman bodies, which I have examples here, 
and I'm noticing that some of the 90s and the 80s clothes actually do fit very well on these bigger buffer bodies. Action Man outfit, that's cool. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. There, there's so much stuff. Okay, so there is Derek. Awesome, awesome. He's in perfect condition. So happy to have him. Thicker thighs. Did not skip lag day. And I would say this guy around the same time. Same sticky legs. Rubbery. Oh, his joints don't click as much. I mean, we all love that feel and everything of the click. But the legs are sticky, especially now that I've washed them. I'm really happy to have this. I would love to have the quintessential 80s Ken with the blonde hair with this head sculpt. I've never seen a black haired one when I was growing up as a kid. So I think it's really cool to have him. Like he's like the tuxedo or the Coke shop. Again, he has the thicker thighs and then they started slimming down the thighs like with a shaving can. And then I have this other Ken who is the same face as Shaving Ken, and I kind of styled their hair, so I washed them, and I mean, I do not like hair on Ken's. His hair looks really cool, though. He's kind of, uh, I won't use that word. So yeah, the legs got thinner at this point, just slightly, and I think it looks a little better. I still don't like the funny-looking body. I got two of these. They came in the same outfit, which is a really cool fashion pack. This. I don't know what that was. They were in really good condition. They looked like they were used for some kind of display or something because they both came with this jacket, these pants, the t-shirt. I'll show you that later. Oh, I skipped a part. I skipped a part that I wanted to tell you. So there are some things that I did save that are in great condition. So I have his orange socks. I have his fingerless glove in neon. I have his guitar and his microphone and his shoes in gold metallic. So those are cool accessories to have and they're all great. So I'm happy about that. Okay, so then we get into, well, you know what? These both say 1968. I don't know why both of the bodies say 1968. I can't imagine them making this one and this one at the same time. I don't, I, I find that very bizarre, but I definitely prefer this body, even though he's not as buff or muscular. It's just better looking body to me. I just think it's more aesthetically pleasing. I guess it's more realistic. Okay, and then there's this guy. Really awesome face. He kind of looks monkey. That's very common with all of these. That's why I really like Derek's face. I guess it's the little squished noses. It looks, it, looking like a monkey. I like monkeys. Monkeys look like <laughs> they're cute, but yet they're masculine and tough, wild at the same time. So I really like these little pug faces, good faces. This one, not so much. I mean, I do like this face, but for different reasons. And this came in this outfit, and I think he pretty much was this prince of some sort. I would think that that was like some kind of dreamtopia from early 2000s, maybe. He has on these black pants that I got actually on this guy, which was a great find, but we'll come back to him in a second. And he has the same earlier 1968 body with the thinner legs, pretty much the same as him. But something else that I've noticed is there's such an inconsistency in head sizes which is super annoying when you have the bigger head ones next to the smaller head ones. They don't look like they play well together. Now, I definitely prefer the bigger head ones. I guess in the 80s, they had bigger heads, and in the 90s and the 2000s, they got smaller. I definitely think the 90s, the late 90s, and the early 2000s are my least favorite time. A bad time for fashion, in my opinion. Kind of tacky, but some pieces work. I'll show you when we get to the fashions. Grandpa Ken, really happy to have him. His hair washed really well, and it went back into place. I'm thinking that I'll soon have to start using him as my mini-me, because, yeah, I'm only getting older. And then I have the $6 million man, which is awesome, and he 
has a button on him. And he's got his... I definitely got him for a good price. I could not believe that I've had him for such a good price. His arm is working. He's got a magnifying glass in his eye. He has one of his mechanical panels, which usually fall out. He is missing the one in his forearms. He would have this rubber arm that you could roll up the skin and you could reveal his robot parts next to him. He is definitely a bigger size than a Ken doll. And he's really, really cool. Other ones that I got were this Lone Ranger. He didn't come with any clothes on, but I was so happy to find him. He's got a really unusual shaped body. But something that I am realizing is that I definitely like Mattel bodies than ones from other companies. So these are not Mattel toys, but this, which might be my new favorite toy, is a big gym. And I washed him up. He looks great. His face head looks like He-Man, which is crazy. His blonde friend, I forget what his name is, Big Joe, maybe, or Big Somebody who starts with a J. He looks exactly like He-Man, and I definitely have to pick up one of them. His action feature also works, which is crazy incredible. He has the rubbery arms, just like Barbie's legs. So you could bend them with that click, click, clicks. I didn't get his arm completely cleaned off, but it is so nice to have him so clean. I cannot believe how perfect his face paint still is. And yeah, it's an incredible body sculpt. I do not know why they don't reissue Big Jim. He is my missing link, the link between He-Man and Ken. He fits right in between awesome. So I have some fashions that came with him. I'll show you. They didn't come so clean. And then I got these Stacy kids. Now these Stacy kids came in skipper clothes. The boy came with these shorts on, which I'm not complaining because these are some pretty nice black shorts. However, again, clothes are so hard to put on these sticky lagged. Something I can't do is I would love to head swap. I would love to put these heads on we work in bodies, but that's not going to happen because they just don't make them the same anymore. The best example, I think you can pull these up, yeah. You kind of have to pull them up, and then inside they have another mechanism, but the Ken dolls of today don't work that way. They have the neck at the top. Now some people have cut these out, like cut them out with a knife, and then they rig them inside, but I don't know about that. It's really upsetting. Yeah, the sticky legs are kind of annoying. Grandpa has the thinner thighs. Here are the three Stacy dolls that I got. Really cool to get the boy. The girl had her bangs cut off. They were just like stubble bangs, but I pulled them out with pliers, and I think she's looking much better now, so that's good. I'm not sure if this hair was cut. It looks a bit short. What do you think? You let me know if you think that that hair was cut. I think it's really cool that the boy actually has different arms than the girls. He's got muscular arms. They gave him a little bit of shoulder and bicep definition. That's kind of cute and funny. But those are really cool to have. I don't know what's going to fit on these. Maybe Chelsea clothes might fit on these. They're going to be smaller than creatable world clothes. But I guess it doesn't really matter. It's really fun to have them. They're cute. Let's get into the clothes that I found. I got Shaving Ken fully dressed, which is awesome. So he came with this pullover. I guess I'm not going to put it on him. That would take forever. All nice and clean now. Now this is an example of very 90s bad fashion. This you can kind of pull off because it kind of looks like a Mexican poncho or something. But there's just something about the colors. There was this like country flair that was this western influence that was going on. And everything was really simple and earth tony. Now that sounds like stuff that I really like, but I don't know. There was just something about late 90s, early 2000s that I can't find cool anymore. I mean, the prime of my life was probably in that era. These shorts are a prime example of this. Nobody can make these cool. And like I said, these definitely fit on 
my Superman bodies because all the clothes are just a little bit bigger. But that is, that is not, that is not cool. I would love this denim in a nice fitting jean. It would be really great, but these are dad shorts. I mean, if this is something that you like, I apologize. To me, this is like the worst fashion of all time. 50s were cool, 60s so cool, 70s were crazy cool, 80s insane cool, 70s and 80s so theatrical, 90s no, <laughs> and then the early 2000s not cool either, it's the same style, and then we get into modern day, and I definitely like modern day where everything goes, there doesn't seem to be any new innovation in clothing anymore, so you can kind of borrow from all walks of Time. Just don't borrow from the 90s. So speaking of all walks of time, we have this outfit. Now this is another holster that I got from a action man and I put it over the prince's outfit, but that's not really the best option. So this outfit came on this guy. I think that was his original. I'm really happy about getting this leg holster because this is one of the pieces that was stolen from my last World Peacekeepers set. So here is the cool Prince outfit. I mean, I got it really clean except for that one spot on the sock. And I think he might have had shoes on. I'm not sure if these were the shoes. These shoes are definitely too modern for this outfit, but they might have put those on him. I'm not going to squeeze them on him. He also has his World Peacekeeper watch on. It's a pretty cool outfit. That's kind of why I got it. I mean, the head is also awesome. And I already told you about him. And I have Jacob's head in here. And something horrible that happened while I was putting this outfit on, which I looked this up online, and it is a fashion pack. And it comes with these shoes. This isn't the horrible thing that happened. So I got two pairs of these pants, two of these jackets, and two of these t-shirts. And the boots are really nice, definitely usable. This guy's outfit is definitely questionable. I have to get some acetone and remove the tattoo. That would be good. I guess just normal nail polish remover from the dollar store will work. I hope so. Maybe I'll try that first. So, two sets of these on two sets of these. So I don't know what these Bobby twins were all about. They were in perfect condition. I did wash those guys down. I didn't wash this jacket. It seemed too new and untouched that I didn't really worry about it. But even on the Superman doll, the clothes are way too baggy. So this is another example of 90s, 2000 clothes. Really baggy, ill-fitting. <sighs> I mean, I could take these pants in and make them. It's so funny that they're so loose even on the super buff Superman body. Now, let's get to this bad part. This happened on my last one, or I have four of these, and over time, just by putting clothes on and off, it got these stress marks, and then the lag fell off, and it's so loose, and it's totally falling apart. And when I got this... It wasn't like that. It just, it's getting worse and worse over time. I put the one guy in a wheelchair whose leg fell off. I can't keep doing that. I'm going to have to come up with some kind of hack to fix that. I think it probably would be easy. I probably would drill a hole and put a pin in it. It's really, really disappointing because I love this body, but the legs keep falling off and it probably this isn't the only one probably three of the four have those stress problems well one guy's leg fell off and i think it's on the same leg every time too okay so it comes with this shirt i mean the baggy white t-shirt that's not so bad i mean it's super super baggy yeah it's, it's not so bad it's a sleeveless cool white t-shirt jacket fantastic. It's lined. It has a Barbie label on it. That's really cool. I wish they continued to make clothes like that. However, these sizes aren't good. The tuxedo came on this guy. A sleeveless tuxedo. Kind of funny. I think it is missing one of the buttons. Not that you can really tell. It fit on the Superman body because the legs were so thick. The waist was thick enough, but I could not fit his arms through the armholes, unfortunately. It's a silly costume. I don't think I'll be putting it back on this can. I 
think he is so awesome though. Grandpa Ken didn't come with any clothes on. It's a very weird articulated, at least he has articulation. His arms are really, really thin. There's a big gap between his bending elbow. He has a bit of a belly. It's very much like the Dumbledore body, but I don't think they used the same one. And it has 2003. He's even muffin topping his underwear. He's got the thinner legs. It's a cool head. I really wish I had grandma to go along with him. I wanted to talk about these rubbery legs again. When you wash them, they get even stickier. It's kind of funny. I do love the sensation and the sound of the bendable legs. I don't understand why everybody thinks that they're so great because really, is that any different? It's not that much articulation. His head is discolored just like his legs are. At least they match his face to his legs. This is definitely the best body out of all his shoulders are even broader than this one. I think he was a surf city. I think they were both beach lines, if I'm not mistaken. I thought he was in better condition, but up close I do see that he has some hair paint gone, but you can't really tell, so that's not bad in his face, and I always really wanted to get this can head. Unfortunately, the more I play with these, the more these sticky legs are really bothering me. I know that there's a fix, like you can put baby powder on the legs so they don't stick as much. He came in his full outfit, which is awesome. Even though, here we go again, let me harp again on how I do not like late 90s, early 2000 fashion. That design, it's, I just, I do not enjoy it. I do not enjoy tribal tattoos either. It's such a weird time. But the shorts can work. I mean, they're purple board shorts. Why not? Even though they're hard to put on. Really cool head. I showed you this. I should put this on. Yeah, you can kind of make this shirt look retro-y, Mexican poncho-y. It's still pretty bad, but it does definitely have California beach vibes, which is a great like pullover to put on after surfing. Not so bad with this top. Kind of, kind of cool. This was some more Action Man. So that's a really cool, so well made, like really nice material. Action Man, I don't know if I showed you the police uniform yet. Have to cut off some threads on these. Those horrible shorts I showed you. These skipper fashions came on the Stacys. These are so insane, so hideous, and so funny looking that they're totally okay. Like that shows personal style. They're crazy, they're hideous, they're awesome. Look, even in the 80s, they weren't putting prints on all sides. I really like the cottony material that they're made out of though. Some Max Steel or Action Man vinyl pants. I think their waist is a bit big for most of the dolls that I have. These pants, these look fantastic on a regular Ken. They look really funny. Here, let me put them on Super Ken, even though I probably should not be putting pants on him ever again. They came on a Max Steel or Action Man, and those are insanely crazy robot yoga pants. And then I have this ski suit from 80s Ken. Unfortunately, it appears some little girl got really angry and cut the sleeves open. It's not even on the seam to get his hands through. <laughs> and it is kind of a hideous, it's kind of so hideous that I can't accept it in any way. I can't even show you on anybody because their legs are so sticky to put the clothes on. Yeah, I don't really like this. I know that people really, really love this outfit, but maybe I'll try to sell it even though it is destroyed. Yeah, I don't like that. And then I have the six million dollar man's outfit. I cannot believe I got him for so cheap. I think he was, I don't know, I don't remember. It was so long ago. This haul is over such a long period of time. Probably it was such a good deal, so I'm thinking it was 10 or 15 dollars. I think it was under 20. And I'm sure that if you were to buy this, it's probably 60 to 100. I don't know why I got mine for so cheap. Now, there are worn marks in the pants. I carefully washed this. Once that it's clean and everything, I don't mind the little vintage holes, but this is why I prefer to 
collect reproductions over the original toys because they do disintegrate over time. Where the hole is in the back of his shirt, there's a little bit of a rip. What's more 70s than a red leisure suit? So I had one of these when I was a kid, and it is great to have it again. I really wanted to get an Oscar Goldman so bad. What's even cooler is that he actually came with both shoes. That's super incredible, despite how the paint is coming off and how one of them has a tear down the side. I don't really like messed up toys, but considering this is so old, and now that every inch of it is spick and span clean, I washed it with all-natural lavender soap and tea tree oil to disinfect it and everything. It's definitely great to have this as a collector display piece. He looks really, really cool. There's something that happens even in an old toy when you clean it. An old dirty toy is one thing, but an old clean toy is a whole different story. And yeah, I'm definitely super happy to have that. And it is really cool, his action feature where you turn his head and you press the button. And he slowly cranks his arm. He had like a car engine that he could lift up. I loved all the features. I loved that there was this bot and you could take off the faceplate and the robot could look like Steve Austin or Oscar Goldman and the crazy face underneath and he had robot parts. So cool. The other things that I have, another Action Man space uniform. I'm noticing that these things are very much like world peacekeepers. They might actually be some way associated or copied 100%. Because the clothes are so wide, it looks like that they don't fit on Ken's, but they actually fit very, very well on Ken's. Um, some other things that I took off, some dolls that came in bags that I think I'm going to redonate. Some Barbies that I'm gonna have to relook at their heads before I donate them, but I don't think I like them. And I mean, I took off these really hideous shoes from some kind of princess fighter and i saved the skirt the skirt could definitely come in handy it's funny i have these boots which are awesome from bat woman but those would be super stylish on barbie for sure very nice yellow boots then they have these white shoes these are really nice they might have come with tuxedo can or maybe they came with that period prints. Here's the other pair of those hiking boots that came with the Barbie fashion set. Some Max Steel boots, I think, or Action Man. Jacob's sneakers. They're Barbie basics. That's the thing about the Twilight series. All of those come with really amazing clothes. Super Barbie basics. Barbie basics is probably the best Barbie line of all time. That or maybe one modern circle. Even though One Modern Circle is so 90s, so early 2000s, the clothes are a bit off, but the fact that they mixed it with the vintage heads, it, it's a masterpiece. See, that is an example where I can forgive the poor 90s fashions for the art of it all. Not the best sneaker, because they are more modern than I like, but the Converse ones are pretty cool. Now, my big gym came with the sneakers. They were really dirty. They cleaned up so well, and they're in excellent condition. They probably could fit on Ken. They totally fit on Ken. I don't know if they were used for Ken sneakers. They're more rubbery than normal, but they're so nice, and I'm so happy that they came with them, and they came clean. He also came with these shorts with this weight. And this all came in a bag for 5 or $10, maybe 15 And before I found him, I had wished that I would find him. This basketball he came with, he came with this shirt. And the shirt did not come clean. The other part of the button was on there, but it fell off. Maybe I should try to put that on him. I prefer him in his Speedo. I think he was supposed to be all sports. So he was supposed to be like a swimmer, a triathlete, basketball player, and you could mix and match the clothes. That's a pretty sweet vintage tank top. And to this day, these kind of nylon shorts are my favorite to wear. Yeah, you would think that I would appreciate the 90s because it was arguably my heyday, my college years. When you compare it to 80s and 70s fashions, so much cooler. The colors and everything. 
he's ready for the showcase. Some really awesome toys. Okay, there's more. Uh, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll show you a few more things from Barbie that I also got in my hauls. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you. We'll see you next time. Okay, Jim's socks did not come very clean. There was a Dorothy. I guess I didn't like the heads. The dolls are downstairs in bags, ready to take to the thrift store once they start opening again. But I'm going to have to take another look at them. I also saved this Batgirl outfit. I took it off of the Batgirl. I also have a Catwoman Barbie, like from the movie, but I didn't, I just, I didn't like it. And then I have these Action Man pants. Oh, and here's a, another really bad 90s. See, the 90s were Barbie's biggest moment. I mean, it's based on 50s style, but it's got that 90s flair. I got a little Chelsea dress. That's cute. Or I guess it's a Kelly dress. More Action Man pants. Oh, this is one of the best pieces. This is from Max Steel or Action Man. But these look so good on Ken. It was like a jungle series. They totally fit my Superman Kens. Barbie Basics again. These are Jacob's shorts. I think the Twilight came out right after Barbie Basics. So it used a lot of their clothes and shirts and pants and shoes. And they're all perfectly fit. They're timeless style. Such incredible craftsmanship on those. What is that? More Action Man pants. Comes with a belt. Those will definitely fit on my Superman Kens. Showed you that jacket. I think, I think I showed you everything. It's a pretty good haul, for sure. Don't forget to tell me what you would do with the Barbie and the Rockers. Would you try to sell that outfit, or would you take those shiny pants off it? Or would you leave it as is? Oh. Shiny Dorothy socks. Those are nice. <sighs> Chelsea, Kelly, little Kelly, Chelsea shoes. I guess Kelly shoes. One glove that seems to be disintegrating from Batgirl, Batwoman, whatever her name is. Oh, these socks are shaving can socks. I think that they're shaving can socks. So he comes with those really long denim pants. And these shaving socks, these are pristine, great condition. That shaving can was in really, really good condition. The Batgirl mask, I saved that. That looks good on some of the Ken dolls. I'd have to put a strap on it. Phantom of the Opera or something. However, I think there was a string around it and there's a tear. Unfortunately in it. I keep finding more and more things to show you. I have lots of great stuff, don't I? Oh, I have an epic can thrift haul for you today, coming up after this.